could be cafeterias, it could be um, hotel restaurants, um, it could be food service operators. We're seeing it happen in real time. Restaurants closing down or reducing operations to take out only. Corporate cafeterias abandoned as employees work from home. And hotels that have no guests but still have all that fresh food. And it allows them a free and easy way to connect to local hunger relief agencies that can pick up that food within a very short window so they're not paying for transportation. And they can get that food out to those most in need in a pretty quick turnaround time. Mary That's Jane Melendez with General General Mills is talking about Meal Connect. It's an app they created with Feeding America during the Minneapolis Super Bowl. Back then, they were able to capture 150,000 pounds of excess food from event centers, restaurants, and caterers and get it to meal programs fast. You can get a donation, a tax donation um, receipt for that contribution that you make. So businesses actually have the opportunity to be, to be thoughtful about having this count as a charitable contribution mm. that they're making. At the same time, they're helping to feed and nourish families and children who are in need during this time. General Mills does this with their corporate cafeteria every week. And now that many employees are working from home, they had even more fresh food to donate. And just yesterday, they sent more than 1,000 pounds of food that would have been used to prepare lunch for General Mills employees and actually was, were able to donate that food to Loaves and Fishes here locally, who's going to turn that into meals today to feed those who are most in need. And not for nothing, it could keep thousands and thousands of pounds of food out of our landfills. It's a small act, but think about the difference that we can make if all of these businesses are signing onto that app and getting that food to the right place at the right time to ensure that it's consumed and doesn't go to waste in a cooler or in a kitchen setting within their operations. Here at CARE 11, we want to help families impacted by coronavirus. The Give 11 campaign with Second Harvest Heartland will provide meals for kids home from school, college students who can't afford groceries, and others facing hardship. To donate, just go to care11.com slash give11. The first day, we raised nearly $17,000, so thank you so very much for your generosity. Wet and gray out there, but so 